Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, how's everybody doing today? I hope all is well. I truly do. How y'all been doing? I know it's been a couple of days since I posted. Well, hopefully I get this down I post tonight. So, um, it's good to be back in front of y'all. So, to my new subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. And welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. And to those of you that's watching for the first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. And be sure to tap that notification bell. So every time I upload a video, whether it's on load, you want to be notified, okay? Because you don't want to miss out on none of these good recipes. So, new subscribers, welcome, 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 welcome. I'm so glad you chose to decide, um, you decided that you want to be a part of my YouTube family. So I welcome you with open arms. Welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. So today I'm going to be doing um, pizza. What's up? Well, Miss Joanne, you can make pizza. True that. But I can go buy pizza rubber. But I'm, I'm craving a special kind of pizza. And I've been craving this pizza all the week, and I was gonna be and do it, but anyway, I was procrastinating, so I'm gonna do it today. So the pizza that I am craving, and we're gonna have chicken wings with this pizza. I was gonna do a salad, but we just gonna have the pizza wings. I mean the pizza wings, pizza and wings. Okay. So um, the pizza that I'll be making, we're gonna be doing chicken alfredo pizza. Okay chicken alfredo and broccoli pizza and then we're gonna have two types of wings we're gonna have um some parmesan some garlic and parmesan wings and we're gonna have some um oh shit here go the name of it right here some bourbon and peach barbecue sauce okay this is bourbon and peach barbecue sauce so we're gonna be having a bourbon and peach barbecue wings and i'm gonna take some of this hot peach jam and i'm gonna mix the two together Oh, it's gonna be good okay so those are my two wings we're gonna have peach barbecue wings and they got a little heat to it not a whole lot because y'all know my he don't do heat so and the um garlic and parmesan chicken wings so let's get started because i got some chicken breasts i'm gonna show y'all the ingredients that y'all gonna need now it's easy it's simple as i told y'all there won't be no be nothing complicated in my kitchen okay so I'm not doing nothing from scratch. Um, I got a fried chicken wing though, but I'm not making a pizza from scratch. It's just gonna be store-bought pizza though, okay? Can't get no simpler than that. And the sauce, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Cause I was gonna do some homemade Alfredo sauce. I changed my mind on that. We are gonna keep it simple. So we are gonna use store-bought sauce, okay? So let's get started in this recipe. So right here is a bag of chicken breasts. Now these chicken breasts are already diced up as you can see how small they are. They are um, chicken breasts and this is the best kind of chicken breast because it's the real the, the, um, tenderloin chicken breast. Okay, so along with that you're going to need some broccoli. I have a bag of broccoli over there. You're going to need some alfredo sauce or you can make your own sauce however you choose to do it. But I'm using four cheese alfredo sauce. And this one right here is roasted garlic parmesan alfredo sauce. Okay, so you're gonna need some alfredo sauce. Now the um, I'll be seasoning it with paprika, my polio chicken um, powder, sea salt, um, my Old Bay seasoning. I'll be using a little bit of poultry seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and parsley. Okay, and this right here is already done. Okay, it come it come in the bag already done. And if I don't know if y'all can see that, but it said, you see, it said fully cooked, um, diced chicken breast with real meat. That's, that's a good chicken breast. Diced chicken. So, it's already cooked, but we're going to warm it up because I got to season it, okay? So, we're going to get over here to this pot right here. I'm going to cut it on. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil into it. Oh, uh, well, I take that back. I'm using grapeseed oil. So whatever kind of oil you use, that's what you'll need, okay? And we already have our little stove oil pizza up. Crust right here, so we'll be ready to go. And we're going to put some cheese on this. Um, and this was Mama Mary's. 
and it comes two in a pack and I got this from um, Winn-Dixie, okay? So, I might need to cook the other pack because my boys love pizza. Who don't love pizza? Okay? So, let this get a little hot. We're gonna put a little bit of butter on here. Huh? Okay. And then um once you once we get this butter good and melted, we go add in our um oil. Well this um your olive oil or your green um your um grapeseed oil so in this case it's grapeseed oil so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna let our meat brown i'm gonna take this broccoli and we're gonna add that in there too and i just have the broccoli florets okay you don't want the broccoli cuts okay just the florets and then you're gonna need some cheese You're gonna need some cheese. So this cheese right here, I'm gonna grate some of this. And uh, since I'm doing it my way, um, I'm trying to find my mozzarella. I don't think I have any mozzarella cheese. So I'm just gonna have to settle for the yellow cheese. We're gonna use what we got. So my oven is good and ready. So the pizza will be able to go just right on in. Okay, so I'm put a little bit of my grapeseed oil in here. see how that's gonna do because we got to um I don't want to do a whole lot but we're gonna have this got to be meaty you understand what I'm saying so we're gonna season it I'm gonna put some um I might need a little bit more for two bags since I'm doing two Just make sure it's enough meat on the pizza. Y'all know what I'm saying? You don't you know pizza ain't got no meat on it. <laughs> and then my my florets are like this. So I'm just gonna dice some of them in half. Cause I really don't need them like see that big one I got four pieces out of it but I keep it like that gonna start seasoning after I get me some broccoli in here
So anybody got anything planned for Halloween? I don't. I'm not into that. Okay, just a little bit more broccoli. I love my broccoli, so we're gonna have to have some broccoli on here. Huh? And I got it on high. Okay, we get ready to season it in a few minutes, y'all. I'm gonna chop up this last little bit here, and I think that, that should be enough broccoli for two pizzas. Cause this chicken alfredo. And broccoli pizza. So we got to have enough of the main ingredients on here. Right? So tomorrow I'll be doing a video, but it's no, um, It's just a cooking video and everything that I'm cooking tomorrow, I already have it on my channel. And that's my ribs. I'm doing some ribs in the oven. Um, collard greens, fresh collard greens and mustard mix. And we're doing um, potato salad and macaroni and cheese. But I'm doing macaroni and cheese out the box since that's what my kids want. And that's what we're going to have. And that's it. That's dinner. Okay, so let's get this up. A nice little toast. See, can we get this meat a little brown or something? Okay. So I'm going in with a little sea salt. I have my black pepper here. That's enough black pepper because he can take they take their hot their heat. Um my onion powder. As much as you like. Garlic powder. As much as you like. And I like. Poultry seasoning. Okay, that's enough for that. We're gonna do a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. 
Mm-hmm. Get us some flavor. Yes. We're gonna do our chicken pull. Not too much. And last but not least, yes, I'm doing pepper rucker. And you don't put paprika in. Afraid of when you make I do. So now you can go ahead and do this from scratch, right? Where you know your meat is like um take some chicken breast because I was gonna do some chicken breast. I got some chicken breast in there, and I was gonna take the chicken breast and cut it into chunks and then cook it like that. But then I decided I said, well, I'm changing everything. I bought the ingredients that I need for my Alfredo sauce, so ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't gonna spoil. I'll make that another time. So I just said I'll just keep keep it simple. You can buy you some stove board meat like I did. It's already done. However you like it, whether it be the strips and you cut those into little chunks. Oh, I ain't trying to lose nothing. You know? call it a meal but okay let this continue to sit a little bit So it's not going to take long for our pizza to get done. We just need that to be um, I already have my uh, but we just need that to be brown. So I have my cheese here and I'm just going to take some of this cheese and I'm going to grate it. And I'm going to slice this part right here off. your cheese grater I'm gonna go with the big grates right here and we just go go like this just grate our cheese so everything will be done and then all we waiting on is for the crust to get nice and brown and then for our cheese to melt So about 20 25 minutes no longer than 30 keep checking or you can get this done you know get it brown to the way you like your pizza I 
all this because we don't enough for two. You can't get enough of your cheese on your pizza. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to use my mozzarella cheese. Because I got the um. Oh! Hot dog, get I got me some mozzarella cheese. Okay, I'm gonna open up uh, this mozzarella cheese. We're gonna build our pizza. We're gonna get this chicken here seasoned. I'm putting two different types of seasoning on the chicken. This is mozzarella in a bowl. So we might just have to, um, okay, let's get back over here. Check this out. right here. Let me bring y'all over some. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all what we're gonna do to this one pizza. I had some pizza trays, but then I'm gonna get the rope away. So we're going to take this pizza and we're going to take our mozzarella, I mean our um, Alfredo sauce 